to Wales. Wales through a goal. Slossy beyond Fodringham. And the Millers are in front in the South Yorkshire Derby. Oh. And for the first time in 42 yes. years, yes. Rotherham United win at Bramall Lane. On the edge of the box to Duffy. He can hit them. And he does. Oh! No! Hello everybody, welcome back. This is New York Talk, the Rotherham United podcast. We have obviously another defeat to talk about. We're not going to play it, so it's obviously a loss. Uh, this time Preston North End uh, only put three past us this time. So the five, the usual five as it has been. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, we're not down yet, but we could be. We'll talk about some mon- uh, the permutations of Monday, which will probably be relegation day. Uh, we'll go through that in a bit. Uh, Mick, happy Easter. How's your Easter weekend been? Um, yes, since you. Uh, it's been... Um... From what I can remember, if it's been all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I right, guess what we are. Happy Easter, how are you doing? Happy Easter, lad. Yeah, good, mate. I've had a banging lamb dinner, and then I've been to Salt Air for afternoon for a couple of couple of jars. Lovely. Like, I hope we've had a good weekend because um, I'll get ruined again tomorrow. My brother, so <laughs> we'll go through it. Um, go through comments. Buck Pan Pigs is another shambolic with performance. Got to help us in League One with that lot. YouTube user is with us. Um, as it is Gumbo, we talked about the Millwall game, which we'll come on to later. The Millers and Car- Michael Carnell. Sarah Ogden says, evening all, ready for the relegation. Nathan Crabtree, Noel Jones with us. Palmer says, evening, the pain continues. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll come on to the specifics, as, as always, in a minute. Kev, let's start with the ledgers. Let's, let's, let's get this, let's talk about this, because you're very, very close to a seller, are you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I've, I've not really done much this time, to be fair. Um, obviously... A lot of people who attend the last one, they're already on the list for the next one, which has gone really well. Um, and a few negative comments about the legends, um, in, in inverted commas. If, not, not many people, to, to be fair, mm. saying they're not real legends. But I think I'm, I'm happy because I think I've got a good mix. Obviously, we've got Ryan Cresswell, obviously, ex-player, mm. local lad, now still managing for Sheffield, which is great. Vance, Vance Warner, fan, fan's favourite. Everyone loves Vance Warner. He's now a referee, so it gives us that perspective mm. as well to talk about. Um, obviously, um, Daniel Nardiello played for my United, Rotherham, great striker, great pedigree, and obviously the, the man, the legend, Tony Towner, who everyone wants to see. Um, and obviously bringing, bringing Brex, Ronnie and Tony back together for one night, it's going to be fantastic, mm. he's buzzing for it. Um, but yeah, we, um, ticket, we've got about s- sub-40 left now. Um, so yeah, it's going to be another sellout, it's going to be a good night. And obviously, Young Grace is singing on the night, which is fantastic, mm. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, that's great. If you haven't got tickets yet, hurry up and get some. Yeah, the last one. Wouldn't much longer. Um, yeah, so let's go. But we're on a positive. Let's go for some negative, mate. I'll come to you for negative. We'll start with you. <laughs> um, I don't know how many back to back away defeats it is. It feels like a lot. It's, it must be, you must be talking 10 plus now, it feels. Um, it was another drab, dreary, horrible performance where we often try and look for a positive. It, it's basically impossible to pick out any positives from that game. It was 3 0 if Preston could have been bothered in the second half. It probably could have been the five or six that it, that it could have been against other ones. Um, it's just not getting any better. What have you come to me for? <laughs> Why have you come to me for some positives? You like it when you win. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really hard, isn't it? It's really hard. I mean, I thought for the first 10, 15 minutes, we were all right, actually. I don't think we were too bad. Um, they didn't really hurt us. They're not a good, they're not a good side anyway. How they're in the position they're in is, is absolutely beyond me. Um, but then, then we can see the goal and that's it. That's it. At that point, I think once once that first goal goes in, you can the, the game's a write-off. Mm. If it's not a write-off before, given the given the... Um, the situation that we've been in for the last, I think, as kept pointing out, 507 days away from home, you know. Um, it, yeah, at that point, it's gone, it's done, it's finished. Um, so I don't know what, what can you say? What can you say? I'm not going to start slagging them off. I'm not going to, I'm determined, I'm not going to slag individuals off. I will. Um, I know you do. <laughs> I think I just I, I I I suspect the players, the staff, the club 
are all in exactly the same boat as we are, I suppose. They just want this season over and done with as quickly as humanly possible. Um, because no matter what happens, no matter what they do, that, that nothing goes right. Nothing at, at any point. Um, so, so yeah, it, it's 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 really hard, really really hard. But that, that's that's what being a, a supporter of a real football club is like. It's hard at times, really is. Um, and you've got to strap a pair on, basically. <laughs> you know, well, you have, haven't you? You know, take it on chin and go to work on Monday or Tuesday as it is this week and take the, take the Mickey tech in, the inevitable Mickey tech in, and move on to the next game. Oh. And the inevitable Mickey tech in that comes with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Mick mentioned there, Kev, that the frustrating thing about yesterday and other games is these are a team chasing playoffs, yeah. but they're nothing special. There's all this talk about this, this championship being amazing, and the top four are very, very good, mm. but the rest of them aren't brilliant. They're, they're decent, and they can probably put some results together, but they're not brilliant teams. And that makes this season all the more frustrating that we can't pick up some results against t- these, like, these kind of average teams, and we were never going to. We were never going to get anything yesterday. We thought no. before the game, and then you soon kick off. You think, yeah, we're lucky to pick up a point on this, and it just that's how it played out. It's just some, it's just so predictable, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never rated. Like, I mean, I agree with Mick. I've never rated them as a team. But then, if you look at the um, Kieran Maguire report, they're losing mm. something like two hundred k a week or something. That they're probably mm. one of the biggest losing champs. So, you know, they're spending money somewhere, whether it's on big names or just high wages and um, and whatever else or loans. But yeah, they, they were bang average, Preston. They, they were there for the teching, but there's a lot of teams in that league very similar. I mean, mm-hmm. down the top near us, like your Stokes and teams like that, these are all on, these are all way more budgets than we have. Um, yeah. But it, it's it's not. It's, I used to bang on about budgets and used to be down to this, but it, it's not for me that anymore. It's, it's what it's what you do when you're on the pitch. Don't matter what your standards like or what what your levels like. You've just got there's no effort anymore. Like zero effort. There was no leadership. There's nothing coming from above, and I mean above Liam Richardson as well. I'm on about Tony Stewart now. Um, nothing coming down, and it just you can tell it just feeds down. Shit rolls downhill sadly, and it's it can't get any lower. Mm. No, it can't. Uh, well, it can. <laughs> it probably can. Um, Adam Clark was asking if, if the beer's making a comeback for me. No, I've just got lazy. I'm not doing. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not shaving until we win away. So much stupid like that again. I've learned my lesson. Um, couple of let's talk about a couple of goals, Mick. Um, the first one, sort of the miscued shot that goes to the back post, and uh, Dwayne Holmes scores. Um, there, were, there was generally like three times that the ball could have been cleared before then. And mm. I've watched it back, I forced myself to watch it back. And the clearances, the, the attempts to clear it are half attempts. This is not a team that's willing to put their sort of bodies on the line and throw themselves into a tackle or, or just be a bit more aggressive on the tackle. They just half bake the tackle. And then the, the, it's, it's a little bit. Obviously, it's a shot. Come shot that's turned into a cross, and from that point, it, it's it's a little bit lucky. But it came to the edge of the box, which could have been cleared. It, it went back in. It came to the edge of the box again, which could have been cleared. It, yeah. We're not dealing with things in any way. Well, yeah, I mean, you said that, but um, I, my my recollection of it, and I've not watched it by, but my recollection of it was that um, it, it deflected off Sam Plukas to, to to their player, who'd actually literally. As you've just said, or the opposite, did exactly the opposite of what you've just said, and threw himself at the ball. Um, so, and and it, it, if he catches that cleanly, it goes straight down Victor's throat. Yeah, you know. Um, if on the second goal, if Cam Humphries don't get in the way of it, it goes straight down Victor's throat. Mm, the but, yeah. but, so, at what point do you say, you know? You've got you've you got to catch some break somewhere sooner or later, and and straight away, fifteen minutes in or whatever it was, they're going to miss cued shot that's tapped in at back post, which realistically under any on any other day for any other team would have, would have either gone wide anyway or straight out goalkeeper's throat, but no, <clears> just straight to one of their players. But it's before that that's the problem. We, we can yeah, we can well, all accept yeah. a deflection and miss cued shot. We, we can all that, that's fine. But yeah, could have not stopped twice before that. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to say that we couldn't defend better. Of course we could. Absolutely we could. Um, but you, you, we we are we get punished at the moment 
for every single mistake that's made. Every single one is punished with a goal away from home. Um, and and it's yeah, we've got we've got to we've got to be better. I accept that. I'm not. I'm not, you know. I'm not. I'm not trying to make excuses. But the bottom line is that the first two goals, and once once that first goal goes in, heads are gone. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it, it's it's pointless from that point on, given the situation that we're in. I know it shouldn't be, but it is. And and I would I would wager that if you know any any of us were playing in that team. Having having gone through what what they've gone through this season, admittedly through some of their own fault, the Arabs would go down as well. You know, <clears throat> there's no question about it. So, uh, yeah, they've got to defend better. For all three goals, they've got to defend better. Yeah. There's yeah. no question about it. Um, and sorry, Adam Arcastle says, "Stop the cross. You mitigate this. We invite the pressure." This <coughs> medicine is it's about the basics. You're not doing the basics correctly. Yeah, and that's, it is. That's that's the thing, Kevin. It that this is what it is. It's basic stuff. It's kind of there's they're always luck involved. We're not we're not going to sit here and say that they, they didn't have a little bit of luck in there. But mm. I, I, we've said we're four at back, which didn't work. People mm -hmm. have been asking for it back. It didn't work at all. Mm -hmm. But then five at the back didn't work, didn't work much better anyway. So where where do you say what sort of makes it? Is it just things are going at me a little bit against us or is it completely? I mean, you, you, make, you make your own luck in this game, don't you, I suppose? But, yeah. but, but when you're down at the bottom, you get no luck. So it's, a, it's, it's one I'm into. But me personally, I um, I, I think I think it, it were crossed. I don't think it was shot. I don't, I've, I've looked at it. I've watched it a few times back. And I think I think he sees... I don't think you're in for Dwayne Holmes. I think you're aiming for... The guy in the middle, but either way, I, I think he pinged it in as a, as a cross to mm. and it ended up between But yeah, unfortunate. But like you, like you both saying, correct, absolute schoolboy defending. You have got us off. They had two or three chances to clear it out, and you know, happened to stick it in Rose's head and just get rid. Um, mm. Well, they don't do it. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not saying they even try fancy flicks. What go wrong? They just. It's just simple things like the right about the basics. Just clear the ball. No, we do we do it nine. We do it other times, and we don't get punished. But so just when we get a chance to clear it, just get rid. Admittedly, there's nobody up top to get rid to, but yeah, terrible. Just shocking schoolboy defending. Mm. Yeah, it is. Uh, Craig Mill says it's nothing. It's nothing season now. We have to move on and get the recruitment right uh, in the summer. Yeah. Uh, Noel Jordan says that nobody could motivate this team. I wouldn't mind if they tried and lost, but some of the performances have been woeful. Um, yeah, they have make the third goal. Um, I don't know what was wrong with this. To be honest with you. Everybody was just at, at, just went for a jolly, didn't they? Revan got wrong side of his man. Uh, Cam Humphries has tried to cover it did, and failed. Hacks has then tried to come and cover it and failed. And then Jamie Linz has even tried to come back and cover the cross again, which which he's failed and obviously Victor's got no chance. It was just a comedy of errors, that third, which again sums up maybe the mentality of the players. of Because Cam Humphries and Hacks have not been poor performances. Even when we've been poor, they've not necessarily been poor. No. It just stinks of those two trying to I don't know to be honest with you, mate. I'm just trying. Yeah, to think. I mean, I, as you very well know, I, I I'm not one to call Cam Humphries out, but unfortunately, that 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 cross had to be stopped at source, and Cam's dived in uh, instead of standing the player up. Uh, he's, he's dove in, and you know, it, it's it's gone straight past him. Um, uh, <clears throat> so yeah. <laughs> what, what, what can you say? It's just <laughs> from that point on, it's like it, it literally is like like Keystone Cops, isn't it? You know, they're just yeah. players falling about everywhere at wrong place. Not yeah, it's just yeah. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. Can we talk about something else? <laughs> what else we talk about? <laughs> well, Hammerby won today. First game at season. Hammerby won three one. Can we? Can we? Can we? Should we? Should we, should we, should we talk about that game? Can we? Yeah, I don't know the first half of that game, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> watch half a game they want to talk about yeah um, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um yeah uh <laughs> that's not yeah. yeah yeah um let's dive into some performances uh somebody put on here that power mad says Cafu got a rating of two out of ten from paul davis kev um mm. it turns out he's a it was a terrible sign he's a luxury <laughs> player in a team that's trying to fight for survival if, yeah if we all look back and sort of put our logic hat on it doesn't make any sense why you sign that kind of player, really. And it, it looks, he's looked good once or twice. You know, mm -hmm. Penenka penalty will look good on Instagram, probably. 
Um, but the work rate and the and everything else we kind of need is the ninety five percent of it not there. And he's, he it kind of sums up where we are really as a team, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I, I was very excited when we signed him. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I came in here and said uh, I, I may have even said this is the best squad we've got on paper, which all well, my hands up massively <laughs> wrong. Um, and I think Paul Davis is two or one for each half. I think which I think he must have given for that. <laughs> But yeah, he, look, just like, like you've said it yourself, expensive luxury. Um, I think he, he tried the Penenka last week with 1 0 down. Uh, he tried crossing it from uh, in front of the cop. Instead of just crossing his left foot, he tried the a Penenka cross, which yeah. went into the thingy. Just little things like that, you know. And it, the penalty, yeah, it went in. But if he'd have missed that, imagine, yeah. imagine the thick he'd have got. Um, but yeah, uh, he, he obviously he's, he thinks he's playing for, he's going to be Premier League next year. He's not. He, he's, He's been, you know, he's been ruled if he thinks that. No one near good enough. No wonder Forrest got rid of him on loan. Um, but now, shocking. Um, just a comment on Josh Thompson's per comment on there. Uh, I think it's actually called, I think it's Michael Thompson. Stalks me on Twitter quite a bit. But uh, yeah, Josh, I'm ne I've been negative towards Rotherham for 46 years, mate. It's not since Paul Wall <laughs> left. Um, and in my opinion, which is my opinion, I think it was a cross. There you go. <laughs> 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 there you go. Uh, Chris Page, Mick. Chris Page says, How many games? How many games was good? Great atmosphere. We've got a converter. How many fans are on? Get in there, Chris. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. It was. Look at that. It was. I mean, it, it, got, it got suspended halfway through the first half for, uh, <laughs> for fireworks. <laughs> Apart from that, it yeah, seemed yeah. to go reasonably well. Yeah. Um, there's your positive, Mick. Um, yeah. Let's Cheers, talk Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about another the performances. Charlie White's been for a lot, a lot of stick. Um, he, I feel sorry for him. We talk about this a lot. I do feel sorry for Charlie White because he is running around and putting a bit of effort in. I don't think he's championship level, having seen him. I'm not convinced he's at this level. Hmm. But to make it even worse, he's not getting any service. Cafu was giving him nothing on the left hand side. Nombi's trying on the right hand side, but he's not again not getting the service to sort of help him. Um, it's just a bit of a disaster. And Eves was better when he came. Well, Eves, Eves got a lot more involved than White did. Yeah. So I'm, I am a little bit confused why White keeps getting the go. I, I would play Eves at the minute. Mm. Yeah, I would as well. I would. Uh, he, he's not up to speed, White at all. Not 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 by any stretch of imagination. I mean, on on the flip side of that, he got he got zero protection from tight shirt Steve. Um, you know, he, he had his he had his he had his shirt ragged off his back. <laughs> Numerous occasions um, and got no protection whatsoever. Um, they, they bullied him essentially, um, yeah. you know, and he, and he allowed that to happen. So um, he, he's here. He's here. I suspect, uh, in the hope that we can that that the that he will stay next season. I think for League One because I think he'll uh, he'll be a decent player there. But um, he didn't get any service at all. It was just long balls. And their and their defenders, like I said, just bullied him and bullied him and, and mocked them all up. So, um, yeah, he he was completely ineffective. Mm. Yeah, uh, Scott Kent pointed this out on Twitter and says that White uh, White could have scored with the Hacks chance in the, in the second half. If Hacks tries to do it with Ronaldo and look at yeah. so I think to defend Hacks, I think Hacks thought he assumed he was offside because mm. I assumed he was offside, and then I think he's just tried to be clever, um, and then. Balls deal with you. Um, talked about striking options, Kev, because Hugel's fit is, is, is injured apparently. Nobody's doing a job out wide because that's what was having to play at the minute. So then you got what at the minute you got White and Eves as your options. Um, none of them really inspire, but Eves, Eves puts a shift in, undoubtedly. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I played play Tommy's all day. But going back to Charlie White, I, I put some on Twitter over there about would you have Charlie White, Charlie White, Eves. Um, Hugo or Kelly was who, who we got rid of, and I think majority of people said Kelly. And you know, I know he's been injured, um, but just having just having his presence there, having him uh, when they read his name out, when when he's warming up, mm. when they bring him on in the 80th minute, that for me just gave the fans a bit of a boost. So I'd rather have Kelly. But back to White, I feel sorry for him. I think he's been he's been out done by for the last God knows how many years because obviously he's, he's had he's had mm. crap at Wigan, um, relegation battle after relegation battle, everything else. Then he's come to us. And like you say, he gets no service. Um, I, I don't think as a, a Rotherham esque player. Um, I think he's he's on a lot of money. I've heard rumours he's on ten grand a week, uh, which don't make any sense bringing someone in on that when mm. we're not going to do. Um, I do feel sorry for him, um, but he's just not us. And I, 
I, I disagree, Mick. I do not want Charlie White playing for us next year. Not even in League One. It's just not. It's just not us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have a full, full, full yeah. new lineup, won't we? Probably knowing us. Yeah. Um, is there anybody, anybody else, Mick? Is there anybody you can check out that performance that sort of said that they were okay? They, they weren't kind of responsible for goals, or was it just an entire performance of either the poor or average? No, I, I think there are. I, I, I don't think Victor had a bad game, obviously. He made a bit uh, of save, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. So there, there were one one particular save which were absolutely outstanding. Mm. Should never have had to make it light, but um, but nevertheless, um, I, I thought Nombe were decent. I thought Nombe not Nombe played well. He he he, he grafted. Yeah. He's, 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 he seems to be getting a little bit quicker, um, or, or maybe they're just a lot slower. I don't know, but um, he, he, he yeah, I, I, I was quite impressed with Nombe. I thought he played all right. Um, Hacks. Yeah, he, he he wasn't bad at all. He he was he, he put a shift in packs. You know, he grafted, but unfortunately, nothing. He, he, yeah, I don't think that for me. I don't think you know, I don't think hacks works in four. To be it, it, it doesn't work at the back. Well, yeah, it, you know, well, no, that's not true. He does work at the back, but he's far, far, far more effective further forward. Um, and then you talk about look, and then <laughs> Ella Blackie goes and does his other hamstring. Yeah, it's like what? What the hell? It's just mm. it, and 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 he's not a, he's not a aged croc that 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 was signed. You know, he's he's a, he's a youngish youngish lad. He's not it's not exactly yeah. yeah. So he's he's not he's he's in the basically the, the the sort of prime of his career almost in terms of age. Mm. And there there you go to to hamstrings in a season. It's just what, what you, you, yeah you can't write it can you? So, <laughs> So we, we end up with hacks still back there. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I, I thought arguably uh, Ollie had a decent game. He he, he worked hard and he, he tried to sort of he tried to get players going by you know trying to lead by example. I guess uh, that yeah. didn't happen. Uh, nobody really, nobody else really followed him. I thought mm. Jamie Lindsay was. Uh, I was surprised he was still on. To be honest, I, I forgot he played at times. Yeah, yeah. But which is which is really surprising with Jim Lindsay because when Jim Lindsay plays, mm. you always notice him because he's kind of everywhere mm. and just mm. yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's been infected by the rest of the team. It seems. Um, let's talk about Liam Richardson, Kev. Um, you can't not because the, the sort of the run, 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 run win, one, one winning <clears throat> twenty, I think, and that was the the Borough game where. Mm. Miss hit across. Mm. Um, so at the start when he came in, there was signs of improvement. It wasn't it wasn't significant, yeah. but there were signs of improvement. We're yeah. tighter and this, that, and the other. Mm. Since probably the whole game, maybe mm. it's really gone downhill since then. And I don't know whether the players have just decided, mm. well, that's it, sod it, um, or whether <laughs> Lee Richardson's ch- tried to change. Well, I don't know. Mm. But we we are going backwards, and the players are playing like the season's over. There's yeah. He seems to not fail to install any sort of professional pride in them at the minute. Yeah, I mean, when we first appointed Richardson, I mean, we we all know he wasn't our first choice. We were probably third or fourth. So he's come in, and I agree, Matt. First first two or three games, I think we lost our Drew, but we looked organised. We looked like we had a bit of shape about us. Like, and then, yeah, rightly so. Obviously, we've got. It does seem like we've got worse and worse and worse, and the players don't seem to be playing for him. Um, it, it's almost like he's setting us up to. Not lose five six nil now, which mm. I get that you know, we're it was, it's, it's inherited a really really poor what turns out a really really poor championship team, um, but it sh- and I get with the training facilities as well he's not been able to train them properly stuff like that, but it's his job to mo- you know it's his job to mo- if you if I don't matter what job you do if I'm a gas engineer I go into a, a gas company and I've got a ten engineers who need motivating and training you do it it don't matter what mm. job you're in it's his job to get them togetherness and playing better and. It's got worse since since the first two or three games. It's got worse, and it's only going to get worse. Um, for me, I don't, I'm torn. I've nothing against the guy whatsoever. I think he's done. He's, he's, you know, he's done well in his, his career as a manager. But would I, if I were Tony Stewart? Thank God I'm not. I'm not as red faced or drunk. But if I were Tony Stewart, would I trust Liam Richardson to build us? Because this is a massive summer for us. If he gets it wrong, if he gets it wrong, it, you know we could we could end up in League Two and in a whole lot of trouble. 
well, maybe not maybe not as drastic as League Two, but we could waste a couple of years trying to rebuild and rebuild. So he's mm. got to get it right. And does Tony Stewart trust him to get it right and invest? I don't know. Torn for me personally. No, he's not. He's not for me for next year. I'd I'd, I'd get a League One journeyman in. Not yeah. German journeyman. Not German. I think he German. <laughs> Scott Kent, Scott Kent says he's trying to polish an already steaming turd since he came in. They just don't want to be motivated. And Nathan Crabtree says, how do you motivate players that don't care and know they're going soon? Yeah, yeah Mick, and that's the question, but yeah. that's that's his job. I don't want to go Roy Keane on you, Mick. But that's yeah. that's his job. That's what that's what he's there to do. Mm. And if, if you can't motivate them, are you right for the job? Or are we all <laughs> saying that Sod it, don't matter. This season's this is a write off. Forget about it. And whatever happens between now and May is, is basically irrelevant and we'll we'll start afresh. But then we've all still got to sit there and watch this crap. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah, we have and look, we've 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 talked this subject to death, haven't we? We've absolutely talked it to death over the past um three or four months, to be honest with you. Mm. Um I, I I just I mean I'll, let me throw this one in the in here. Do you think that what Liam Richardson's probably trying to do here, and one of the reasons we're having issues is that it's, he knows that there's a problem and he's trying to fix it by by altering stuff around constantly, constantly tinkering rather than just just trying. He's, he's desperate to stop the rot, um, and you know. So we've we've had four across the back, we've had three at the back, we've had five at the back. Different. I mean, when when the team came out on Saturday, we weren't sure who were playing where. You mm. know, nobody. And, and I, I I just wonder whether. There's an element of him tinkering a little bit too much at the moment, um, just desperately trying to stop the rot. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, for me, it stays. Absolutely, it stays. Um, as as Kev pointed out, there, it wasn't our first choice. Mm. To be fair, it's our our only choice. Yeah. Um, and. I think he's. I think personally, at the moment, I think he's probably capable of getting the job done. However, this season, this season has been a write-off for a long, long time, hasn't it? Yeah. Pre Matt Taylor, I'm. I'm sorry, but pre Matt Taylor leaving, mm-hmm. um, it, 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 it. The writing was on the wall because of some of the performances, you know. And and when you look back at the previous season and some of the runs that we had under Matt Taylor, particularly post World Cup. Mm. They, those performances were as bad as any of the ones that we've had mm. over the last few weeks, few, few months. Um, so, yeah, we're keeping for me. I don't see any. I don't. I genuinely don't see another option. Is there, is there a change? Is there a set of circumstances where you where you would then want to see a change this season? Mate? Not that. Not until we we get into next season and see where we are, <clears throat> and see what what personnel we've got. Where, where, how we're starting to play, how we're performing, where we are. No, I mean the the, the the difficulty with it is, you know, if you if you sort of tenth or twelfth or whatever by November, is that a failing season? We all know that it's not because nothing finishes in November, does it? Mm. But there needs to be some signs of of positivity in terms of the way that we play. I mean. <clears throat> Um, Adam Castle says Mick will want Steve Evans back. I don't know. Who I'll be honest with you. I've seen, I mean, I've seen a couple of those comments in there, and and I, I will I, <laughs> genuinely <laughs> after after what I'm I, I don't know however many years, fifty plus years of watching this football club, I, I hand on heart, I would have to consider whether I ever went again while if he came back to this football. Really? Club. I, See, absolutely. I'm, wow. I'll, I'd have him. I'd have him back tomorrow. Not in, <laughs> Just for that Ooh, reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, actually, I've gone back and forth on this. When 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 the when, when the manual search was ongoing, I, I was hundred percent anti Steve Evans, but I could get behind him, mm. and I don't really like him. And I don't really like his style, but I can I understand him. I understand what he tries to do, and I'd get it. I'd get it straight away. We don't. We some people like me wouldn't necessarily get behind him, but I could get behind the idea of what he brings to the players. Mm-hmm. Um, you'd have him back tomorrow, Kevin, wouldn't you? I, well, uh, yeah, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I didn't particularly like the bloke. He's, pro- he's, he's the most marmite manager you can ever get in your life. Yeah. And So I can understand what Mick's saying. You know, there's, I've heard stories uh, about mm. what he was like with some players and I've heard all sorts of stuff. But 
he gets a job done. Simple as that. And if we're in that position next year and we need someone to build as a team what can get us out, get us out challenging in League One. I mean, look what he's done at Stevenage. He, should, he took them over third bottom in League Two last season. And they're, they're, they're just about, I think they've just dropped out of playoffs just. Mm. Um, he's done a cracking job, but it would divide fans. I get that. Um, same with Paul Warren. Since, since um, Lados took over, I've seen more and more support for Warren. But because people, mm. fans are now realising, you know, someone will come on here and say I'm a Warren lover. I do like him. He's a great bloke. But I'm on about his, as a manager as Robin United Football Club. What he did, I think people appreciate him that what he got out of a certain bunch of players, and he only signed not nice people, but players who who what played with that pride on the shirt and wore that shirt of pride and gave the gave their all and, and motivated them. Uh, you know, he, he didn't he didn't come out on radio and blame like Matt Taylor didn't like Liam Richardson and blame players and do this and obviously protected mm-hmm. his players and they there is a group and he looked after him, he loved them. Um so he'll never come back. I know he will, who knows, but Someone like that, we need someone who's who's and is Liam Richardson right? Is is it does is he Mr. Motivator? Mm. Can he can he get the best out of a good squad? I don't know. I, mm. I suppose it's a gamble Tony's got to take. Mm. Yeah. Um looking back, Kev, with the we'll put the hindsight glasses on. Was the sacking of Matt Taylor the right decision at the right time? Would, would we would we be in this position now if he was still here? Yeah, I think so. Maybe maybe, maybe not as dire but i think it would be I, th- I think in all fairness i think the sacking of matt taylor took too long it should have happened mm. before then sheffield wednesday you know there's a chance they still might go down well they made the they, made, they got rid of darren moore at the right time and, and got them that sheffield wednesday wanted one manager in charge and and they, they mm. got him they got their number one target we had two or three or four even turn us down before we got him so you know it's who's on the market at the right time but i think we should have got rid of taylor long before i think but it's hindsight isn't it who knows mm. yeah He's not exactly pulling up trees at Bristol Rovers, is he? No, exactly. No, I agree. Um, on Steve Evans, uh, Scott Kent says he'd come in crackheads and no way to stand for this. So Evans says she agrees with Nick. Don't do not want, wouldn't want him back. Uh, Craig Miller come back and says he wouldn't stand for this rubbish week in week. Can you imagine Steve Evans? What would he do after this? What, what, well, what's he going to do? He, he might well, you want, what he always it. does. No, none of us stand for it. None of us are happy with it. What's 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 big fat lad going to do? <laughs> What, what I mean, it's all right saying, you know, oh, he won't stand for this. I accept what you're saying. No, he wouldn't. What's he going to do? How's he going to change it? Well, oh. we've, we've talked, we've talked, we talked to Pringle and other players. It, not, it sometimes motivates the players in an odd way that they just it brings the players together almost against him, as as again Pringle and Anani kind of said. Mm. So it might even bring that side of things in. It's, it's a, but, yeah. but we haven't it, got, it's we haven't got Ben Pringle type players we haven't got carry on some type players that's yeah. not the type of players that are here you know so nah nah uh, yeah uh <laughs> near the country says these play no these there's no chance these players will play for evans i don't think they play for many people at the minute um, <laughs> they're probably right but i think one thing evans would have done is like like someone from there he would have cracked the heads he would have it would have told him what he really thinks and maybe to give these kids a chance i don't know like we've got there's a, someone from comments the kid scoring for fun in Reserves are 21s yeah, or whatever they yeah. the call. Give him a game. Mm. Can't, can't hurt, can it? Give him a game. Maybe, maybe he, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. The, more, the, more, the more I look at Mick's face, I'm going to agree with him. I don't want him back. <laughs> 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 He's raging. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Listen, mate, I, you know you know when he first came, mm-hmm. I was raging the day he got appointed. He was. Genuinely, I was absolutely, I was, I would, I would, I was furious, and and don't get me wrong. I mean, somebody mentioned it in the comments. I I I was I was I was right behind it. Obviously, when we got the promotions and everything else, mm. um, but it, it wasn't right. It wasn't right behind the scenes. It, it just wasn't. No, but he did sign some some players. That someone's listing names now. The, the yeah, players yeah. he signed for this club. You look at that. Someone tweeted over there the, the team from that yeah. promotion. What a team! But you can counter that. With the with the with the other Agreed. list of players that he yeah. signed that were absolute crocs. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and both lists cover two or three sides of A4, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, he lived a long time. Oh, he did. He lived a <laughs> short term loan was uh, Steve's uh, favourite friend. Oh. Um yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Do you think for this season, Kev, we, my mix said, you, could you could you see a set of circumstances where Lee Richard does leave before the end of the season? I don't think so. I, I don't. I, I don't think Tony Stewart cares towards end of the season. I really don't think it. I think it, Tony Stewart's had his eyes on League One probably since before Christmas. Um, so I don't. There been there been no benefit in making that change. But I, no. I suppose it's how long do you leave it? Because unless yeah. unless he brings in someone long term, there's no point bringing somebody in and saying. Techers for the last seven yeah. games, eight games, slender season. If he's going to make a change now and give someone a three-year deal to do it next year, yes, but he's not. Yeah. Um, it's going to cost him to get rid of Richardson. So just let it, let it, let it run, let it run its course. Let's get relegated. Like Mick says, Reese, have a look at a stock, what's left, and then decide. I mean, you know, he's, he's got advisors now. Tony, he's, he's got Rob Scott upstairs as well. Let them decide who, if they think Richardson is the man. And if he is, we've got to get behind him. We've got to back him like we always do. If they don't, they've got. Some massive decisions and um, to make and try and try and get the right man. Mm. Yeah, they absolutely have. Um, let's go forward and talk about Saturday, sorry, Monday. Sorry, relegation can be confirmed on Monday. If we lose or draw, we are officially down. We if we win and one of Huddersfield, Birmingham, and Sheffield Wednesday win and Plymouth pick up a point, we will also be down. Um, so it's uh, I tweeted this other day, Mick. It's very on brand for this Rotherham team to get relegated in April Fool's Day, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that'll 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 put the tin hat on it, and that'll be the end of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. we'll yeah. probably win. We'll probably win after that. Six six on bounce. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Said that last time out. Yeah, you know the the the, the first game we're going to win, or the next game we're going to be win is the one after. The um, mm. after we relegated, which is Plymouth at home on Friday, isn't it? Yeah, live on Sky, live live for the nation to watch. Mm. Um, is it doesn't really? I'm gonna ask you a question, Mick. It doesn't matter. Is, is are we going? Are we, are we getting relegated tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think the way that they're playing at the moment, the way that confidence is within that squad, I, I can't see us getting anything out of Millwall. They're scrapping for their lives. Mm. Um, they've always been a. I, I'm trying to think of the right word. I, I, I mean, the, the solid championship side is, is, is the sort of mm. nice way of putting it and in it. But yeah, they've been bang average for years at this level. Yeah. Um, we've never, and that's something that we can only really aspire to as Romney United supporters, isn't it? At the moment, yeah. Um, yeah. so it's not really a criticism of them. But uh, but they're struggling, so they're going to be fighting for their lives. Hmm. Yeah, I can't I can't see us getting anything yeah. out of it to be honest. Uh, no, I can't. Actually, they brought Neil Harris back in. They were yeah. they were struggling. They brought in a, a kind of a young manager, um, which didn't work. Yeah. I can't remember his name now, but that didn't work. So they've gone back to the sort of Neil Harris thing, hmm. and it'll keep him up, Kev. I think. Um, I think I think it's pulled <laughs> up a little bit. Yeah. It'll make them it make them a horrible team to play against. It will not be one for the purists tomorrow, will it? No, not at all. And like that like makes there's a few teams. I mean, lately, I know we're talking about going down and stuff like that. At least, at least we do have something to every year we have a promotion or relegation mm -hmm. or something. These teams, imagine being a Millwall or a Preston or a Stoke or a you sat there, you, you know, you're going to be finished between eighth and 14th for every seat. It must be boring as hell. But, no. <laughs> but back to Millwall. No, I, I've watched them. I, I must watch football too much because I've seen the last couple of Millwall games. They weren't too bad at Leeds. The last, I think the last two mm -hmm. they played all right. Then yeah. they got a good points at West Brom. They probably should have won that game. So, you know, they know Mugs, they got some good players. There's that kid who plays, is it Wallace? He always scores a scream against us. So, mm -hmm. Jed Wallace, I think it is. Oh, he's gone to West Brom now. Oh, he's gone to West Brom, yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a solid team. Not Nothing spectacular. No, no real superstars. Neil Harris is Neil Harris. Like you say, he's going to get him defending like like hell. It's going to be 1 0. We'll, I'm, I'm going to, we'll lose 1 0. Mm. Yeah, we probably will. Um, Race Miller says if we lose three or four nil, do you think it will, might become toxic, Mick? I think people just leave, to be honest with you. I yeah. think I, I, I just think there's we mentioned this probably at Christmas time, there's apathy towards it. We're all annoyed, and but it's just almost what's the point anymore? I, 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 I think that's what it'll, what it'll be. Yeah, that's how it feels, certainly how it feels as a supporter now. And it, what is the point, you know, um, of going out of a sense of duty Mark, rather than um. Rather than actually wanting to go to the games, you know, and obviously we'll carry on. Most of us will carry on going till the end of the season, 
win, lose or well, lose or draw. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, look, it's already toxic, isn't it? It's already toxic, and and, and it has been pretty much most of the season uh, to, to some level or another. Um, the the atmosphere at the ground, even even at the beginning of the season, has been awful. It's been it's been it's been dreadful, um, and then it's just got gradually worse as the as the performances have got worse. So, well, I, I wouldn't have thought it's going to get toxic. I don't think so. I, I mean, what do you mean by that? It's just what booing or you know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, just, oh, it's terrible. I hate it. I hate this. I don't know why you convinced me I should <laughs> do this podcasting, Matt. <laughs> Not for me. Super idea, wasn't it? They were good yeah. when we beat Gillingham. Um, yeah, 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 that was great. Well, I'll do them bits. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, Scott Kent mentioned, I've seen people mention there's some people suggesting a walkout towards the end of the game. Um, well, if it's fine. dwindled down an hour, they'll all be gone before the 75th minute. Well, what, uh, what's the point of that? It's just to show you all your dissatisfaction and, and unhappiness with it. Uh, Do you think that there's look, any? I mean, I mean, I'm only asking the question, and and it's purely symbolic. There isn't a single person that's employed by Rotherham United Football Club that doesn't know how the fans feel. Not one. No, I agree. What 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 are you? What are we doing? <clears throat> What's the point? What would be not- better would be to stay till the end. And sing till the end. Yeah. Mm. That'd be a better. That'd be a better, better option mm. to get behind them, no matter what. Seven nil down, still yeah. get behind them. Yeah, that'd be a much better option. It's not going to happen though. Yeah. And, and I, I understand why. I'm not. It's not criticism. I'm just. I, I agree with Mick as well. Like it's, there, is, there is no point. You, you know, stick behind them. And it, we've all got we've all got as reasons of why we're struggling. Whether it's Tony's fault, or it's Rob Scott's fault, or it's the manager's fault. These people. They're not. They're not doing it deliberately. Tony Stewart's not running our club like an amateur club deliberately. He's mm. just not being advised by the right people. Has not got the right. You know, Rob Scott's not recruiting the right pe- people deliberately. No one's doing it deliberately. They all. They all probably want what's best and for the love of the club, but it's just not working. So it not nothing seems to be going right mm. um, from top to bottom. Um, so it, you know, I just don't see point in you know. I, I, I've shouted stuff. I've said stuff and all, but there's no point in pro. There's no point in chucking tennis balls on pitch. There's no point in. Ranting Raven and booing the you know chucking stuff at Tony anything it's just pointless just just stick stick by the team we'll all we'll all be there next year we'll all be sporting next year it's our club it's not it's not Tony Stewart's club it's not Rob Scott's but it's our club so we'll still be there next year sporting so just just stick to it stick stick by them. Mm. If you mention about do you think players care about the clapping and singing and I think Mick that that's not really the point is that, that no. you're not singing when you're singing you're not necessarily singing for the players or whether it's an individual song you're supporting the in a corny way the badge. You're just singing for the badge, and that, that's that's what it is. You're showing your support for the football club, not necessarily the players on the pitch. Um, it might be 100%. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. This, this uh, is our club, you know. If, the, the, each one of those 92 football, the football league clubs, belongs symbolically to the supporters and would not exist if it wasn't for the supporters. The mm. players will come and go. Some of them, some of the players who are at this football club at the moment, genuinely care and genuinely want it to work some maybe not however you know you, you, we're, what we're doing here is we're now saying by walking out all of you all of the 11 on that pitch and the seven on the bench or whatever well three on bench for us obviously because <laughs> everybody else is injured we, what we're saying is none of you none of you deserve anything from us which is not true some of them don't the performances probably as a whole don't we we we, we as, a, as a supporter for me in my view and it is only my opinion yeah we need to rise above that kind of thing this is about the football club it's about Rotherham united it's not about tony stewart or lim richardson or or, or whoever or the rathbone or, or victor or, or whatever it's not about those people as individuals it's our club and we support it yeah hmm. Yes, I agree. Um, we had one here. Adam Car- Hardcast says, do we think that we will get a uh, better the lowest points total or we'll set a new one? We're on 20 points, Kev. We only need three more points to match yeah. the 16-17 season. Um, are we going to equal it? Lose or what? 
I can't see us beating it, if I'm honest. <laughs> I just can't. Problem is, I can't see us getting a win. That, that's the annoying thing. Like, you know, another season, you're playing Millwall at home, you're playing Plymouth at home. Two two games, and you're thinking, oh, yeah, six points. Or oh, four points. Six. I'm yeah. thinking I'm thinking one point at best. Um, so it's getting that win, and I, I think we might just fall short to it. We might pick up a couple of draws. We might, might draw tomorrow, we might draw on Friday, but I think that's mm. it. I've looked, we're certainly not getting away with before next season. No. I've looked at that. That's not happening. Um, personally, I think we're going to fall short. I think we'll finish on 22. Mm. I think I think we will get 23. I think, I think we'll beat Plymouth on Friday. Um, I think we'll get relegated tomorrow and then win on telly. Um, Mick? Yeah, I think, I think you're probably right. I'd, I'd like to think we'll beat that 23. I'd like to th- I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll tip 24 just to just as a <laughs> just to try and beat that that previous low. Um, but I mean, look what happened after that previous low. The following yeah. season, just say yeah, yeah. Um, Ryan Thompson says which relegation was the worst in our opinion the 05, 04, 05, 16, 17, or this season? He says trying to ignore any recency bias. Um, they're all pretty bad, Kev. <laughs> I, th- I think this season purely based on like my my pre-season prediction was this is the best squad mm. financially yeah. and skillfully assembled squad we've had so in my in my opinion this is the worst season because uh, they've let us down as a collective um mm. you know, we've got individual players who can walk away in in two months with a head held eye victor um just victor leave it there <laughs> but, but but my, my point is, we, we, on paper, the, this squad should have been good enough to stay up, and it's and it's not been. The 04, mm. 05, one or the 16s, whichever years they are, we should have been in a relegation back. We should have gone down. Um, so mm. it's it justified. I don't think this squad should have gone down. So I, I think this is the, the the worst one for me. Mm. I, I I think I agree, uh, Mick. It, it, yeah, is it, Kev's right. This this we've, we've been banging this drum all season. We've been disagree with a lot of people. Mm. Individually, these players are good enough, but they let themselves down. They let, they've let the club down, uh, and obviously, us as fans down. And that's what makes it. Sixteen, seventeen had some, had some really bad players in there. Mm. But Danny Collins, we had uh, <laughs> stuff signing people like that. Oh, four or five. I think Ronnie tried to bring a different type of player in, but there was financial issues at the time with yeah. with, the, with the change in the club. This one felt like the the, the start. It's not the start, start, the start of the season. It felt like the stars had aligned with the signings and the end of survival. And everything else last mm. year, yeah. it felt right. And then this is just, yeah. I, I didn't see this coming. I did not see this season coming at all. No, I, I 100% agree with what Kev said there. Uh, without a doubt, it's definitely this season. And it's it, 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 it's nothing to do with recency bias. It's due to due to what Kev's absolutely rightly pointed out, and you have as well. You know, the the, the, the squad that's been assembled this season should be are capable of far, far, far better. Oh. A thousand times better than what they've, what we, what they've, they've served up. Um, for whatever the reasons are, and I don't think we're ever going to know what the reasons are. Um, maybe, maybe in 10 15 years' time, when Kev's still doing Legends Nights, we might. <laughs> I'm we really might know. Know. <laughs> well, please swear, I guarantee, apart from Victor, none of, none of these players will be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think Axe might make it. Oh. Ollie, yeah, possibly. Ollie well, yeah. I'm, I'm being harsh there. Sorry, lads. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I see. Okay, so I hope we get below the twenty-three points, so at least we get something out of this season, as in a new record. <laughs> Fair. Um, uh, Ryan Thomas says, "Just out like of curiosity, when you say the squad should have stayed, at which three teams have worse squads than us? Do we have any? I, I still think we've got better man than Wednesday. To be honest with you, I don't. I don't. They've got an odd, odd couple of players, but their squad's not brilliant at all. I, I, th- I think there's five or six. I think QPR, Millwall, mm-hmm. um, Sheffield Wednesday." Stoke are very good. Huddersfield, I think there's. I think that, I think this is this is the season where there were five or mm. six worse than us. Usually, mm. it's us or three others. Yeah. I think there's, I think there's plenty of squad. You know, there might be some players on bigger money, but nah, there's there's, there's more there's loads worse than us. I'm sure of yeah. it. I agree. Um, let's just nod. Ref watch off. We have an American, um, Alex Chilovitz. I assume is how he's pronounced. Uh, he has just come over from America at Christmas time. Uh, it's his first championship game. Um, no red cards yet in in England. It, it gave three red cards out in a, in a game in the NMLS last, last season, though, uh, in one <laughs> game. Um, so, yeah, that's who it is. Um, Can't be know. any worse, can he? 
<laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> There's 300 cards for all of my penalty <laughs> against us. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see on that one. I'd be more uh, interested how he pronounces our name. That'd be more interesting for us. Yeah, would you? <laughs> Rotterham, Rotherham. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kev, we talked about something earlier. Do you want to mention that now? I don't know. I, I would talk to Matt offline. Um, a few people approached and said I should do a, a podcast, not like this. It's going to be called New York Talk 2. It's going to be on Thursdays and Sundays at 7.59. <laughs> no, uh, probably, probably bi-monthly or monthly. Um, and aimed at talking to players, having, having a guest or two on each week, um, talking to them about the, the careers. Don't, don't, mm -hmm. Not necessarily going to be Rotherham United. It could be any, any club, local clubs. Um, and then talking about what's happened to them after the um, after the football careers and what they've gone on to. And like, like for instance, Daniel Nardiello would be a perfect example. Mm -hmm. He's played for Man United played for Rotherham, which is probably not his highlight to his career, but he's now a financial advisor. Just think, you know, people mm. presume because he played for my United, he, might, he must be mint and live in Cheadle and all that. It's not, not the case for a lot of players. So mm -hmm. I've been asked to do it. And I'm thinking, I'm seriously thinking about it. Maybe one, maybe once a month or twice or, or twice a month, um, doing it remote like you guys do and just getting on, you know, tech, asking people who they want as a guest, cause, you know, through, through the football and I've got a few contacts so I could tap into and see how it goes really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll tell, the old, tell Kevin we want. I think uh, I think we're good. That I think we're really good, Kev. Yeah, um, we'll see. We'll help where we can. Watch this space. Yeah. <laughs> um, on tomorrow, Adam Carl had Castle says five red cards tomorrow, fourth at the game for Crams against football. At least that'd be interesting. <laughs> you know what I mean? It won't be a boring, rubbish one nil. Um, let's finish on predictions. Kev, you mentioned one nil earlier to them. Are you sticking with that? Sticking one nil, mate. Cool, Mick. Ooh, two nil, Rotherham. What? <laughs> I think I'm still drunk from yesterday. Um, one apiece. One apiece. All right. Uh, I go nil three. <laughs> if it's, it, I, I suspect if it's one, if they get an early goal, it's going to yeah. be silly again, isn't it? It's that. It's that. When they get that goal, it's going to be. It's going to be mad. Um, Josh Caswell, we're going to win one nil with a Wes Hardy own goal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they've got Wes, Wes and Brook, not Guffy. I think we'll be coming back to them yeah. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, Harry says 1 0 loss. Michael Connell says 3 1 loss. Umbro says 2 0 loss. Steve Gundy thinks we'll win 2 1. Scott Kent and Richard Millward and RUFCK agree with 3 0. <laughs> Baumard's gone 5 0 to Millwall. <laughs> God, imagine. Um, Adam Hardcastle thinks it'll be the same as Huddersfield 0 0. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Do you want to see any changes, Mick? And it's difficult because there's a lot of injuries. But we mentioned the kids. Uh, Hatton was on the bench on Friday. Um, Ayers, I think, was we trained with the squad prior to the game. The striker, the young young striker. Um, is it time for a real radical change or not quite yet? I don't think he will. Yeah. Um, and, and I think I've said previously on here that I, I, I probably wouldn't either. But. Mm. Um, I'm I'm struggling to think of a reason not to, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, you know, just something, some some new blood injected within into into the into the, the the team that has a point to prove. You yeah. know, um, because I don't think I don't think any of them feel as though they have a point to prove. Or no, that's not true. Not any of them, but a lot a lot of the players don't feel as though they have. Um, so it might just mix it up a little bit, but I can't see him making any massive, massive changes. Per, per, frankly, um, you know, we might see Eve for 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 White. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. But the rest of it kind of picks itself on the basis that we ain't got anybody else who's fit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Um... Somebody said to put airs on. Uh, Harry says to start Eves oh. and put airs on the bench. Was a young kid. Josh Castle four four two Eves and airs up front. Mm. Um, I mean, we have got Bramall back. Kev, that's something you could put Bramall back and maybe move mm. Revan into a back three again and go back to that a little bit. Um, but even that's a bit. He's, well, you're swelled, not not quite it's still square pegs round holes in it. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, there's, there's no, sound sound. I don't mean to be negative on saying it's like, it's his pointless, but it's a bit pointless. Um, yeah. it, it's. <laughs> And like the Ayers kid, I, I certainly won't start him. Uh, it could could be the worst thing to possibly do. Yeah. But I'd, I'd have him on bench and I'd give him 
you know, maybe if, if we're losing 2 0, giving him at half time or giving him the last 10 minutes if it's, if it's tight, mm. I can't see White starting to act. I really can't see it unless, unless Richardson's just trying to justify the signing, but I can't see him starting. So for me, I mean, Hugo, is he even injured? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not, I know they don't lie rumors, but I don't think I, I saw Hugo in the lounge after the game of a week and he weren't, he weren't very happy and he left virtually straight away. He, he, he was driving out the car park waiting to get out. Can't wait mm. to get away from it. And yeah. I don't know, is there some, has, has he had a fallout? Who knows? Is, is, he, is he injured? Is he not? I don't know. It's strange, strange he didn't play against Preston. So he won the bench, mm. weren't he? Uh, no, he won't even on bench. He won't even on bench, all right. No. Yeah. It'd be um, interesting um, if he has had a fallout with uh, with Richardson. Yeah. Uh, if, if Richardson's pulled him up and said, no, nah, then, mate, you need to you need to up your game a bit. Stand up. And, yeah. Well, it's next season as well, isn't it? I mean, there is a, again, yeah. don't show the message, but I believe Hugo's got a um, clause in his contract which halves his wages if we go down to League One, so... Um, he's on a wedge, don't get me wrong. I think he's on yeah. 14, 15 grand, so he's still been a, a decent wedge, but I don't think he'll want to play at League One level. So, no. who knows? Who knows? If, if he's fit, he should be playing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I can't, I can't see him being there. one of the many players I don't think I want to make that drop. Uh, no, it's no, fine. He's not good uh, enough. No, I agree. Ray <laughs> spent a stick hacksaw from let's do it. Start Victor up top. Put Phillips in there and we'll put Victor up top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll play Axel. I will give Hacks a, a, a yeah, chance up front. I really would. He could play anywhere. After last season, no, after what we did in the towards end last season, I would absolutely, yeah, I, I'm, mm. I'm dying to see him further forward. Mm. Um, I, th yeah. I think he'll be a huge player for his next year. As soon as he stays, because he, he might fancy one of the Poppet League the Championship. Uh, we've, got, um, we've got a year option on his contract, haven't we? So. Yeah, so sometimes I have to pay a bit of money for him. Yeah. Um, mm. We'll have to wait and see. Um, one thing I do want to mention: there is a fundraiser going around. There is a young lad, young boy from Rotherham, who is uh, got. Uh, I want me, let me get me the details up. Cancer Ted Kelly, the young lad. Um, he's. I know him. Know him. Knew, my friend knows him. Uh, he's trying to raise two hundred thousand pounds for experimental treatment in America. Um, only six year old the kid. So I am going to put a banner on the bottom mm -hmm. of the screen. If you can raise help and donate towards the cause. Um, for this show, I will tweet something out as well, put some Facebook and everything. I'll yeah. put the links everywhere as well. Um, yeah, mm. if you can donate anything, mm. please do. There's a game, I think, at Pew Spot, isn't there? A weekend next mm. Sunday, I think it is. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, we'll tweet about that. We'll, we'll share yeah. that as well because, uh, yeah, and look, Legends Night tickets as well. If you are, yeah, there's not many left. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not pushing as much now because we're pretty mm. much. The, the the rest the the, the sub four to our left they'll they'll go anyway naturally just go some while well, I've been on I with you guys I've had five people well, <laughs> two people message five tickets so that's yeah. some are gone so they'll be gone very soon mm. cool anything else lads that we need to mention or oh, should we knock another episode on head <laughs> yeah knock it on head I need to pay you Kev as well I haven't forgot oh yeah <laughs> I, I I've got my list don't worry uh, <laughs> <laughs> he knows where you live he knows where you live. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, somebody mentioned about the make emergency podcast. You know, if we get relegated, do we have to do an emergency podcast tomorrow? I feel like we've, I feel like we've got to. <laughs> I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that. I feel like a change given, of division. You should. You should do an I emergency mean, podcast, shouldn't you? <laughs> I, 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 without wanting to, without wanting, to, I'm not going to give anything away here. But it, you, you two both know what. The, the setup is likely to be tomorrow in terms of mm. going to the game, etc. For us, I'm yeah. not convinced that mm. after the game doing a podcast is probably not the best idea. Yeah. I'm going out at ten o'clock, and you you two know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'll be drinking at the game as well, so I I'll, I would definitely out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Um, we'll see who we can wrangle. Assuming if relegation is confirmed, uh, there'll be either way there'll be an instant reaction. So. We'll maybe do an extended instant reaction after the game outside the stadium. Mm. Um, we'll see. We'll see who's available. Um, please do subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you've subscribed on, uh, on Twitter and Facebook. If you're watching through there, as make sure follow us and like the video as well. If you're on iTunes, Spotify, again, make sure you follow us or subscribe and give us a five star rating where it is applicable. Uh, so watch out for the instant reaction and potential emergency podcast tomorrow. We will be back on Thursday which will be the review of the Millwall game and a preview of Plymouth Argyle on Friday night. Um, I think that's all I've got. So thank you. Thank you, Mick. I know you're hungover today, uh, but <laughs> you know, you, had a, you get a win today with Hammerby, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a partial... It's a partial... 
successful weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Kev, always a pleasure to have you on, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. My pleasure. We'll see you all next time, everybody. And up the Millers. See up the Millers. It's a wild, wild through a goal. Swansea beyond Fodringer. And the Millers are in front in the South Yorkshire Derby. Oh. And for the first time in 42 yes. years, yes. Rotherham United win at Bramall Lane. On the edge of the box, Adolfi. He can hit them. And he does. Oh! oh! Secured their championship status for next season. Do me a favor, drop me off in.